Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and E3 is kicking off, and the first day, eh, it's, it's kind of funny because everybody's counting this as the first day. EA didn't even count. They're, they're just day zero, dude. They don't fucking exist. <laughs> but yeah, day one was pretty much Microsoft and Bethesda, and not too many games that I'm like, extremely hyped about but some of them that actually look interesting and promising so let's talk about a few of the games that i'm actually interested in uh bleeding edge actually looks pretty interesting to me like i'm actually really looking forward to that because it reminds me like of two older games i used to play that i can't remember the name of for some reason i don't know why but it plays exactly well it seems like it plays exactly like one of the games that I really enjoyed, but it got shut down like a long time ago. Uh, let's see. So we also have the Blair Witch, which I was when I was watching the trailer, I was sitting here like, "Wow, this looks pretty damn familiar." I feel like I've seen this somewhere. Then once it like panned out and showed like a whole forest with symbol in it, I was like, "Wait a minute." Is that the Blair Witch? And when it popped up the name, I was just sitting here like, they're making a game of the Blair Witch. It was weird, because I was thinking it was like another twist of like an Outlast game, but nope. And sadly, there won't be another dead, well, evil within. So, yeah. It feels bad, mate. I, I just want another evil within, damn it. I want closure. There is no closure, because at the end of Evil Within 2, there's so much more, damn it, and I want closure. <laughs> but we won't get it this year. They also showed a little bit more of um, Cyberpunk, which I am, oh boy, I am so excited for Cyberpunk. That's one of the games that's actually getting me pretty excited, and I cannot wait. I honestly can't wait. Because this game is supposed to be having, like, a lot of stuff in there, man. And they promised us no loading screens. I I'm holding them to that. No loading screens, it better happen. And the game that is highest among my list right now that I'm looking forward to is Borderlands 3. Why? Because I have been in love with Borderlands 3 for days on end. I would play the hell out of it. Me and my uh, friend, when we were in high school, would spend. I went, but yeah, I would spend a night over his house, and we would play the hell out of Borderlands One. Or was it one? No, I think it was two. Actually, no, I, it was one. Then we transferred on to two. Halo Infinite actually looked like it would be pretty interesting. Even though it was just a cinematic, it wasn't really much of like gameplay or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure we all know how how Halo plays. Uh, Elden Ring? I don't know what the hell that was. When I first saw it, saw this trailer, I was automatically thinking, Lord of the Rings? I only got the ring part right. <laughs> Jedi Fallen Order. That game actually looks pretty damn amazing. I, I won't even lie. EA actually made something that looks remotely good. But the real question we're going to ask, is there microtransactions though? I want my game to be microtransaction free. I swear to God, if you treat it like The Sims, put in m multiple DLCs, we're throwing hands, EA. Like literally, we're throwing hands. Uh, I don't care about Fallout 76. That game's fucking shit. Anywho, then Bethesda came in with Ghostwire Tokyo. That's that's a game that actually just caught my eye because I'm really into like myth and legend type games, and most of them are horror like survival games. And this one's supposed to be a horror survival. I've been looking forward to more horror survival like horror survival games. And Ghostwire definitely has me interested. I want to try it out. But so far, yeah, 
so far after looking at the cinematics i can tell that it's going to be like those type of like adduction thing at first i thought it was like the rapture somewhat because normally when clothes like disappear well when the people disappear out of their clothes it's basically the rapture but this time it's like these weird ghoul people abducting people and i was just sitting there like oh that seems like fun getting one shot and then sent to the next dimension sending me to the fucking shadow realm that sounds like fun <laughs> and then there's wolfenstein which actually well wolfenstein young blood which i definitely want to play but if i do play it it's gonna be with hollow but I do need to go back and play all the other Wolfensteins. Which I already have that in my mind to go do whenever I fix my PC. Because if you guys don't know, my motherboard should be here before the 13th. Is what they say. So they got like three more days, damn it. <laughs> and the one that actually really, really caught my interest by its like cinematic trailer and the premise of it is death loop i want to see gameplay i want to see more because death loop sounds really interesting and when i was on stream i said it sounded kind of like a well it kind of reminded you of mr and mrs smith you guys remember that movie the married couple fight each other all the time this that kind of gave me the feel but it also gives you the feel of um Happy Death Day, I think that's what it's called, that movie. Yeah, it, it gave us the feel of those two things combined. But I can't wait to see more on Deathloop. Uh, let's see, more on Ghostwire and Elden Rings. And a little bit more of Halo Infinite. I kind of want to see more gameplay of that too. But those are the major things that by cinematic trailer that has gotten me interested into waiting and waiting for gameplay. But I gotta say, E3 kind of kicked off a little bit. Meh. Bethesda showed off a lot of games that I didn't, that I don't have an interest in at all, to be honest. Like, every last game is just basically stuff I don't play or care about. The only thing that actually interested me was the streaming software stuff like um, Scarlet and Orion. Those two things that they were talking about for like faster gameplay and stuff like that. Reduced latency and internet connectivity and shit like that. Like I'm actually excited, excited for that. Eh, not too much else got me hyped. Uh, the only reason... If you guys are wondering if why I'm not hyped for like Gears of War Five because I never touched them, I never grew up around like the newer consoles as they were released. I grew up around them like later, you know. So yeah, I never got to like enjoy all the things you got to enjoy. Enjoy. So yeah, we also weren't like filthy rich or anything like that. Still not, but. <laughs> Maybe maybe someday I'll go back and play all the Gears of War. We'll just binge play them all whenever they decide to stop releasing them. <laughs> but dude, I'm fucking excited. I can't wait, man. This 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 is what I like to see, man. E three showing off new games and shit. <sighs> Cannot wait. Especially for you, Borderlands three. Can't wait. <laughs> oh, boy. In, in any case, I want to know what you guys are most excited for. That's what I want to know. What are you guys most excited for from this E3? From Bethesda and uh, Microsoft. Because I know a lot of you guys aren't going to have, like, the same, you know, thoughts as me when it comes to, like, games. <laughs> I can definitely see that and, and know. But I'm looking forward to what... Wait, hold up. Who was it again? I think it was... 
was someone that was streaming again. I think Square Enix and yeah, Square Enix and Ubisoft are tomorrow. So this should be fun. I just got off work, so I didn't record it any like games or anything like that. So yeah, I've been woke since like six AM and it's like ten PM now. I'm going to sleep, dude. <laughs> I didn't even know that E3 was already showing conferences. I missed EA. I'm, I'm glad I did because there's nothing to fucking show there or watch there. Just a whole bunch of Sims DLC and shit. So, yeah. Meh. Fuck that. <laughs> but, dude. Alright, let's go. Let's see what Square Enix and um Ubisoft have. I'm definitely looking forward to Ubisoft showing off some more of that new Ghost Recon, no. That's definitely what I want to see. Hopefully they do it right and I, I want to finish Wildlands. My PC was my PC was hating me playing that game. So, yeah, let's hope if I get it, we can actually play it and I can call up the crew and we can play some of it. But, as of right now, let me just get my PC settled, man. I gotta gotta get all that fixed and then build my, a, my new PC, which supposed to be like way better. And I'm gonna make that PC into my streaming PC and save me so much. That's a mission, <laughs> a very very long term mission. Unless I can get like sponsored for like a high end PC, that'd be pretty cool. I'll look around. I'll see. But with all that said, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to let myself go and go to sleep. Night, night. To dreamland I go. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.